In St. Vincent and the Grandins, the eighth summit of the community of Latin American and Caribbean states, SELAC, focused on peace and unity in the region. During the day, leaders of the three free member countries of the organization ratified their commitments to fight against violence in order to guarantee a region of peace as part of the integration policy. The heads of state urged to be bold for the benefit of peace and the planet in the face of the effects of climate change, also affirming that if we want to change the economy, we must take into account the dynamics of conflicts, military powers and support for bombs, as in the case of the imperial support to Israel to commit the murder of Palestinian civilians. During his speech at the CELAC Summit Conference, the Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro referred to the presidential electoral process to be held in Venezuela in 2024, criticized the West media for trying to discredit the elections and called the regional bloc and the Secretary General of the United Nations to send observers to his country to supervise the whole process from beginning to end in order to testify to the world the transparency of the event and the strict observance of the Venezuelan Constitution and the rule of law. So by asking the CELAC, to evaluate the possibility to prepare a delegation to observe of international observers to join the process of preparation and realization of the presidential polls from this day to the day of elections. In another part of his speech, President Maduro called the Latin American and Caribbean community to rise in support of the human rights in Palestine and questioned the capacity of the international justice to deal with the genocide being committed by Israel in that country. So if a man is capable of letting fire himself up, we're not capable of rising Latin America and the Caribbean for the life, for the international right, for the human rights. Where is the International Court of Justice? Where are the organisms of justice in the international level? Or are they not seeing, they're not hearing? The president of Honduras, Yomara Castro, emphasized that peace in Latin America and the Caribbean is based on respect for the principles of non interference in the internal affairs of every state. Peace in Latin America and the Caribbean must be based on respect for the principles of non-interference in the internal affairs of any state and the principles of national sovereignty, equal rights and self-determination of the peoples. We must foster friendship, cooperation and exchange among us. The Honduran president said that conflicts in Latin America and Caribbean must be resolved through dialogue and without violence. To maintain our historic habit of being a zone free of armed conflict and warfare, today we must ratify our commitment that never a people of Latin America and the Caribbean will use violence against a brother country. and that the problems and differences of the countries of this block must be resolved among ourselves without interference or external pressures. The president of Colombia, Gustavo Petro, highlighted the need for political, economic and military peace in the region. Peace in our region is political, economic and military autonomy of Latin America and the Caribbean. And I finally refer to the military because it sounds naive to think that we're going to make a peace zone if we're aligning to the great blocks of military powers in the conflict for commercial reasons of business in the world. The Colombian head of state said that the West's support for genocide in Palestine is a message to countries seeking to change the economic system. It is not the old dynamic of the Palestinian-Israeli conflict that is being shown today. But in addition and because of that, Germany supports genocide. France and the European Union and the United Kingdom and above all the United States of America in its democratic version supports dropping bombs on people because they are making a demonstration on the whole humanity.
queremos cambiar la economía hacia la economía If we want to change the economy towards the decarbonized economy, nothing more, nothing less, they are telling us, look at our military power. What happens to Palestine can happen to any of you if you dare to make the changes without supervision. Secretary General of the United Nations Antonio Guterres during his participation urged member countries to practice solidarity to contain poverty and hunger. We need solidarity for sustainable development. Sustainable development is objectives are slipping away. Millions of people in the region face poverty and hunger. You made a plan for food security and nutrition. But this requires financing, and many countries are still mired in debt. The global financial system has not yet provided long-term financing for countries in need, and you have not yet offered a financing network. Guterres also called for the definition of an effective action plan to address the climate emergency experienced by island developing countries. We need solidarity to address the climate emergency, which threatens the very existence of small island developing states. As extreme events strike with increasing ferocity, all countries must commit to making new nationally determined economy-wide contributions by 2025. The global climate change agenda should be aligned with limiting global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius. These plans should be used for both transition and investment.